hey guys and welcome back to my channel <laughs> nah <laughs> no i didn't and welcome back to my channel thank you guys for tuning in again today i'm coming to you guys with a story time a crazy story time i feel like i should write a book about my life like i always say this but like i really really feel like i should write a book about my life i swear to god it will probably sell out be like number one bestseller of this year or next year or of that year the first apartment that i lived in or the house that i lived in just it burned down like it got burned down it's not gonna be super long um it's gonna be kind of short so but juicy it's real juicy though it's real juicy so let's get right into it let me let me stop wasting time so i'd say this was around dang what what time was it it had to be around the fall or the winter time it had to be about in the fall or the winter um good thing is it wasn't snowing it wasn't snowing so that's the good thing um yeah so i had got my apartment this is when i first moved out of my mom's house um i think it was like I don't know, how old was i when i first moved out of my mom's house i don't remember but i got my apartment it was the first apartment that i got and i was happy i was excited my first apartment you know i'm living on my own you know it's fun right yeah so I think I only lived in this apartment for like about, I don't even think I lived in it for a year before it burned down. That's pretty bad. But yeah, I don't think I lived in it for a year. I think it was like, I lived in it for like six, six months, I think. I'd say six to eight, eight months I lived there. Um, and everything was good, everything was dandy, but I definitely don't think I lived there for a year. It couldn't have been a year that I lived there for. Anywho, so it had to be around the winter or the fall that this happened again, because when I did go outside and I ran outside, because I had to run outside because my 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 apartment was on fire, um, I had nothing but like a cute little like shirt on and maybe some sh like poom poom shorts like some really short shorts and i didn't even have no shoes all i had i think all i had was my phone and my hand and that was it that was it that's all i had so i remember it being very 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 cold it was a very cold night and i remember that that's why i say it had to be in the winter or the fall but keep in mind this was like a while back so i don't you know i don't remember all the details but again i'm gonna be all over the place with this story time but so that night i remember that night like it was probably yesterday that night i won't forget certain things i forgot but some things i did not forget that night was just like yesterday i was chilling at home i had cleaned because i clean i usually clean daily if not every other day or i just straighten up every single day so i don't have to clean a lot all the time you know so i keep my house very tidy i got ocd i like everything very clean so that day i was most likely mopping washing the dishes and stuff like that getting ready for bed and me my thing is i like to like incense i like to like candles i like it when my apartment when my place that i stay at smells really nice right and that's the problem <laughs> that's the problem that i had that's the problem that we ran into that night i had i had a yankee candle i had a yankee candle i had bought some brand new yankee candles and i stocked my candles like i have a stock like an area where i have all my candles so i stocked them and i remember i had these yankee candles i had some small little cute you know the cute little small little yankee candles and then the big huge ones that are like probably like 30 40 dollars i had those and i remember i was lighting them and i remember there was one that i lit up and it was like i was i just remember thinking like dang that wick you know the wick the thing that you lit you know you 
light a flame to it and it just and then the, yeah the candle yeah so the wick was super long like longer than usual and i remember thinking like dang that wick is kind of long maybe i should cut that but then i didn't think anything of it. i was like oh, i'll just burn down and then i'll just burn into the candle and it'll be fine why did i light that i lit it and i sat it down and that's how the fire that's how it started. It started with the candle. <laughs> so I lit the candle, I sat it down, and um, yeah, it was burning, everything was fine. And I remember there was the candle, the table, the rug. Remember that, the candle, the table, the rug. Remember the wick was way longer than it needed to be. It was probably a, a manufacturing error where they didn't cut the wick down. I don't know how they do the candles, but I'm pretty sure machines take care of the candles. And um, the wick was super long, like really, really long, longer than it needed to be. And there was the candle, the table, the cup. And I remember just walking around or whatever, and I don't know, I felt like I just laid down. I got into bed, I laid down or whatever. And then next thing you know, I hear yelling. And I'm like, and then I smell something like, and then I'm like, oh snap. So I run out of my room and there's a fire. There it is, right there. The candle fell on the carpet in the carpet lit on fire and I damn near had a panic attack I damn near had a panic attack so you know me adrenaline rushing there's a fire it's pretty big now there's nothing I could do right there's nothing I could do right so the first thing I think about is water water which is probably not the best idea but when you think about it it made sense at the time because firefighters they use water to take out the fires and i thought okay if i get a really big pot and i fill it up with water and i throw it in on the on the um, rug then it should be good right wrong 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 so i get the pot i get the water i spill it on the fire and I feel like it, the fire it didn't, it just made it worse. Like it just fed the fire. Like I feel like it just moved and it went up the wall. It started going up the wall. So it went from the carpet to the wall and it started going up the wall. And I'm like, oh my God. So me, I'm just, okay, water, more water, more water. So I'm running back to the sink. But at this point, the sink isn't doing any good. And it's not filling up the pot fast enough for, for the pot to be full of water so that I can throw it on the rug and on the wall so it was just like at that point i was just like okay after going back like two, two or three times to the sink i'm like this is not gonna work we're not it's not gonna happen the fire it's getting worse and worse and worse and it got worse to the point where like everything was just like black black smoke everywhere it was black like and i didn't know what to do so keep in mind um my daughter was with me, so I had my daughter with me. And um, I think she was at the house, she's out of the house by by this point. I, by this point, I had put, I, I put a robe on and everything. And I was like, I put a robe on and I was like, I tied her, her robe up and I was like, listen, stand outside, mommy got this, stay outside. And I told her, I was like, if I don't come out, I want you to just run downstairs, run downstairs with everybody else. Don't wait for me, just run downstairs with everybody else. Do you understand me? And she's just like, She's like, okay, okay. And I and I escorted her outside. And I told her that while standing by the door, I said, if I do not come out, I want you to just I want you to just go. And she's just like, okay, okay. And I think I don't think she stood there long at all. I think somebody came, one of my neighbors came and grabbed her up and took her downstairs. But um it was just a lot of black, dark smoke. And another mistake I think I truly made, no, I honestly did make this mistake. And the firefighter told me I probably shouldn't have done this, but my adrenaline is rushing and I'm thinking I'm doing the right thing, but I'm not. And 
this this nothing prepares you for a fire in a house the stop drop and roll that that only works for like schools i guess because it wasn't working it wasn't working in my apartment like it's just the adrenaline was rushing and i was trying to do what i thought would help so i closed all the windows i closed all the windows <laughs> every single window you could think of I ran and I closed it because I was like, oh my God, if I don't close the windows, then the fire is gonna spread and it's gonna go outside the windows and it's gonna spread to somebody else's house and I don't want the, the building next door to burn down, so let me close all the windows. And it made the fire so much worse because it wasn't getting any oxygen. Now, did I know that at the time or did I remember that or did that register in my mind? No, it did not register in my mind. My adrenaline was rushing. I was panicking and I was trying to get the fire to go out. And I thought I was doing what I needed to do in order for that to happen, but I ended up making it worse. I mean, it's not funny. It's not funny because it really wasn't. It really wasn't funny. Like, I was crying on the inside and I was crying on the outside too. So when I realized that Everything that I was doing was feeling and it was just getting worse and worse and it was just dark clouds like it get the the smoke in the house it just kept on getting worse and worse. I started coughing and I was like, oh my god, and it was I was choking. I almost couldn't breathe. And I was like, okay, it's time to go. It's time to go. I seen fire. You can see the fire. You can literally see the fire. All you see is dark black clouds. And this that's all you see. You don't see anything anything but dark black clouds and a huge fire and i was just like i gotta go i gotta go and i was choking i couldn't even breathe anymore so i ran out the house and all i had was my, i don't even know how i ended up getting my phone i don't know how i ended up getting my phone and i remember it being so hot in that house like i was sweating like crazy and i was just like oh no 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 i'm gonna die if i stay here like i'm gonna lose my life if I sit in here and try to stay in here, I couldn't even breathe. So I ran outside, I had my phone and I had my pajamas, my booty was out, my boobs were out. I, I was basically kind of naked outside. And to my surprise, a lot of people were outside, more people than I thought would be outside. I thought it would just be like the people in my building, but no, the people in my building were outside. Not only were the people in my building outside, the people from all the other buildings were outside. So everybody was standing outside and I was outside too. But you know what I thought I was outside doing? I was outside crying. I was crying my eyes out. Like, could you imagine I got my home, I got my first home, my first apartment on my own and now it's burning to the ground my clothes all my all my nice things gone my uggs my nice shoes my nice pair list all my stuff gone all i have to my name is my phone and my pajamas and that's it i don't have nothing else so yeah i'm crying i'm hysterical i'm crying and then i remember one of my neighbors i remember it was this freaking pothead stupid stud that lived above me and all they used to do was like blast music and smoke pot and it's just like okay anywho they tried to cuss me out and i'm like are you serious they tried to cuss me out i'm like I'm the one that ain't got a home to go to. I'm the one that lost everything. And she's cussing me out. She's like, what did you do? Uh, my house is, you, you burned down the building, blah, blah, blah. Um, My house better not have water damage. You're gonna give everybody water damage. Mind you, she was the only ignorant person trying to cuss me out. And I almost fought her. I almost fought her too. I really almost fought her because I was just like, I was out of it. I was I was mad, I was sad, I was upset. I was disappointed in myself. I was feeling all these emotions. And then you come up to somebody like that and you try and cuss them out. Oh no, I wasn't having that. They had to hold me back and they told her to shut. They, they were telling her, leave her alone. Like, why are you talking to her like that? She just, her whole house just burned down. She's homeless. 
Why are you even coming at her like that? And I was just like, listen, if you want to fight, we can fight. I mean, I already done lost my apartment. What's up? Like, I was, I was ready for that because I was pissed. Like, I just sat here and lost everything. And I tried to do the best I could to, to get the fire out. Nobody... I don't know anybody that's literally going to light their house on fire with all their prized possessions in it. So, yeah, that person was just being, um, dang, um, I really want to say some swears, but yeah, that person was just being rude. Like, that person wasn't being nice, you know, and, um, you know, I hope, I hope karma caught up to them because my hands didn't my hands didn't catch up to them so i really hope that they got the karma that they deserve actually you know what i hope that their house did get water damage mm -hmm. since they was tripping over that so bad oh my house is gonna get water damage you're gonna give my house water damage and i'm like but don't you live above me is like if you live above me and you don't live below me how are you gonna get water damage? Like how how's the how does that does that do you still get water damage from living above me? The, you guys let me know in the comments because I know some of you I know you be watching my videos. Let me know in the comments because somebody get water damage from a fire if they live above you and not below you. Cause that was I, when I heard that I was like. But maybe she knows something that I don't know. <laughs> maybe she knows something that I don't know. But anyways, yeah. So they had to remove her. And they moved me out of that situation. And then all of a sudden I get all these people walking up to me. They have, they have napkins. They have shoes. They have coats. They have, God, what else did they have? They had a, like, everybody was giving me shoes. Like, <laughs> I was getting shoes from left and right, everybody was giving me shoes. There was a couple of people that gave me coats. I got, I had more than one coat. Um, they gave my daughter some shoes. They gave her some coats because all she had was a robe on and her slippers on. <laughs> That's all she had. And yeah, I mean, people were very, very supportive um, in that situation. Um, a lot of people were like. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, and da da da, da. and I was, I was distraught, mind you, I was really distraught. I, I think I even seen somebody, no, I did. I seen somebody that I think I, I went to school with or I used to party with back in the day. I guess they live in the same complex and I didn't even know that. But she was like, hey, hey, I was like, hi. She's like, I know you, and I was like, you do? Girl, I'm in shock. I don't even know you right now. Like, I don't, cause I, I just went through a very traumatic event. But then she sat there and she came closer and she was like, you don't remember me, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, I remember you. And I was just like, my house just burned down. And she's just like, yeah, I know. She's like, let me get you something. Let me, let me get you some stuff. Maybe get you some shoes, some clothes. Let's see if I can find you or whatever. People were being really nice and really sweet. You know, people hugged me. They held me. Um, the, the, uh, the firefighters were there. I think the police were there too. They had to pull me aside. They asked me what happened. I told them what happened. And they was just like, okay, okay, okay. And um, they kind of gave me a rundown like, hey, you know, it really would have been, you know, just remember next time if you ever get into a, a, a situation like this that don't close all the windows. And I was just like, okay, I won't close all the windows. And they were probably there for a really long time trying to get that fire out. Um, they were probably there for like 20, 30 minutes trying to get that. It felt like forever. It could have been less than that. It could have been less time than that. But oh my God, it felt like forever. They were trying to take out that fire. And it's funny because I remember there was another fire that took place um, down the street at a laundromat right down the street from me. When I mean like down the street, I mean like it was like a two minute walk from where I live and there was a fire over there when I mean it was a fire I mean like it was a really bad fire I mean the whole building 
burned down. It was all black. You can tell it was a really bad fire that took place there. And that was like a month or probably less before my apartment burnt down. So I felt like that was really, I felt like that was, that was odd, you know, like that laundry mat burns down and then my apartment burns down. So I didn't think about that until later on when I was all homeless and depressed. And <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing about it, but it's really not funny. Like I really went through it. Now I can laugh about it and be like, oh, I don't know why I was even, why I was even doing that, why I was even depressed, like, why was I even depressed? I was fine, I was good, like, it only took me two months to get back on my feet and find another place to stay, but in that moment, when something good happens in your life and you're on your own and you're an adult and you're being a grown up and then in a flash, to, to know that everything you have or everything you've got is gone, it's it's really devastating. It's like you're starting over again. And this is not me moving out of my mom's house. This is me moving into my place and losing everything I have except for the clothes on my back and the phone in my hand. And I just thank God that they're all things that I could replace and that it wasn't a human being like nobody got hurt nothing like that and I made sure that my baby wasn't gonna get hurt my baby was the first one out of there before any I think my, I think my daughter was actually the first person out of the, the apartment um the apartment itself before anybody even knew there was a fire like as soon as I seen fire, I was like, this could go one or two ways. I could burn the fire out, I could get the fire out, and we're all good to go, or I could lose everything, and I'm not losing you. So I done threw her robe on, and I made sure that she got out the house safely, but that night, I, it, it, was, it was a lesson to be learned. One, never ever light a candle that has a wick that is too long if you see the wick is really long it shouldn't be long you need to cut it down don't light it and let it burn down cut it just just cut it save yourself the trouble and blow out your candles don't leave them don't leave them lit um, it was hard because I was basically considered homeless and that wasn't that's not the first time I was considered homeless though but um it definitely was it was definitely gonna be glass so yeah I would say that was one of the probably one of the toughest things I've been through in my life a very traumatic event um I'll never forget it um and there's some other things that happened too like they were trying to get me to go to like a random shelter that night and i was like no i'm gonna just go home back to my mom's so i went right back home to my mom and i stayed there for a month or two across probably a month or two no no more than a month or two and then i got my own place but you know everything i feel like everything happens for a reason i know that sounds crazy because like uh, a fire like a fire but no everything happens for a reason and i believe that it was a lesson to be learned and it just made me a lot stronger i'm happy um and i'm i, I feel like that was definitely something that i had to go through and yeah i mean guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed me going on and on and on this video has actually been longer than i wanted it to be it was actually way longer than i expected it to be but hey don't forget to like comment subscribe and follow your girl on instagram to keep up with her her life her busy life me living my life guys go subscribe go subscribe to my instagram i mean go follow me on instagram 
subscribe comment like do not forget again follow me on instagram my instagram is going to be somewhere down here follow me there like comment subscribe and don't forget to put the notification bell on if you want to hear more stories like this more story times a day in the life of me you know travel vlogs whatever like i do a lot of stuff i do makeup from i do everything i do everything so if you want to see it if you like it you like my personality you want to tune in more you want to see about me come see about me subscribe Stay tuned for my next video.